I'm telling you, the amount of information coming out on how permeable the gut gets, yep. changes in serotonin production, more kenurinic acid. So, you know, when, you're, when your gut starts pushing out, when you start creating more inflammation systemically in the gut, when you're making more inflammatory signals, you stop making serotonin in the gut. And then you, you, you end up making more of the phenolic compounds, right? Kenurinic acid, quinolinic acid, which is associated with developing depression. And of course, you see that in, in particular women with irritable bowel, right? Their bowel is off and they have anxiety, right? And that's because, you know, serotonin production is not there. Mm -hmm. And um, so just in general, more and more people are exercising more hours. Obviously, as the chief science officer at Lifetime, I want people to train more. I want them to exercise, but it's having that full thought of, well, am I getting, uh, am, I, am I starting to feel like I'm not recovering? Mm -hmm. Is my belly starting to gurgle? What are my bowel movements like? How's my mood? You know, what, because we don't think of the gut and mood. We don't think of the gut and not recovering or being sore longer. Right. Right. And I, I think it's a big miss. So let's go back to the conversation of fiber because you mentioned reaching fiber goals or meet, meeting your fiber target. 